Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of the Short Hair Show. And it's a very special one today because Itzke is here. And Itzke didn't get her hair cut short because she wanted to, but because she had to. I thought this was a cool story to share. It's something people don't talk about a lot. It's brave, it's cool. I'm very happy you're here. Yeah, me too. We just gave you a haircut, yeah. a fresh trim, because your hair is very curly. Why? Well, I have um, breast cancer. I had breast cancer, I'm proud of you. I got chemotherapy. My hair fell out or was going to fall out. Mm -hmm. I chose to cut it short and before it. Um, yeah, before it fell out. Before it fell out. Uh, so I had my own hair on a, on a band. They made a hairpiece out of it. Yeah, they made a hairpiece out yeah. of it. Yeah, but I had very long hair and um, blonde and I was happy. But then breast cancer just. Yeah, messed it all up. I, I still watch uh, videos of uh, hair that's nicely done. Mm -hmm. And then I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh yeah, damn, I'm short. Yeah. <laughs> so that's. Uh, but that's actually very different than the clients that usually come in over here. And unfortunately, you're not the only one. But no. uh, the biggest difference is your hair isn't short by choice. No. How was it to go short then? I hated it. I really hated it. Yeah. <laughs> I looked at myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh, damn, I'm not, this is not me. It started to fall out. I shaved it off. And I was like, OK, that's, that's much better than the short hair. Did you do it yourself? You actually went short first? Yeah. At a hairdresser somewhere? Yeah. Not over here? No, no sorry. <laughs> no, that's all good. <laughs> but, so you went for a shortcut because it's less long hair falling out? like. Yeah, also, and so I had a, my hair piece from my own hair. Yeah. yeah. But then I, I had straight hair. I had, Straight hair. Yeah, you have because it's coming back. It's coming back. Yeah. Um, so it was just like, I don't know, I didn't like it. Yeah, just standing up straight out. It was really short. And then you lost more hair. Yeah, then eventually I was just bald. Um, and then it grew back. Then but you shaved it off yourself. Yeah. At home. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, when I shaved it, I was like, oh, because I had like short hair yeah. and I didn't like it. So I, I shaved it and I was like, oh, okay, this is better for me. It works better. Um, and I had my hair piece. I didn't wear it that much because you have, um, it, it's aching uh, when your hair falls. Oh, really? It hurts when you have, uh, uh, yeah. It's warm and it's... it's yeah, it, it hurts. Mm. It's part of your identity, your hair. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's actually what we talk about a lot over here. It's part of your identity. Yeah. So if you feel uh, feminine and cool with short hair, then it's all good. But yeah. if you have the same feelings with long hair, yeah. it's awful to go short without a choice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I still look in the mirror, I'm like, oh yeah. That's me. That's me. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, I'm getting used to it now. Oh, now you're no. staying short. No, no, just kidding. No, I'm not. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> now we have to disappoint the guys and girls and women and men that are watching for short hair. It's coming back. It's growing yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. It's growing it's back with a little bit of curls. They call it chemo curls, right? Yeah. And what I see on other clients is that it kind of loosens up or you just cut off the tips when it's longer because of the new hair after chemo, when the medication is out of your system, yeah. is more like your old hair yeah. so a little bit straighter uh, it might change but the biggest changes are it, it'll get a little bit wavy uh, but you don't have a lot of curls you can see it already on top we just trimmed it a little on the sides in the back you see that the hair over there is way more straight again yeah. you're pretty down to earth and and quite open about your disease and everything that's around it you write a whole book on facebook yeah. so everybody can follow your journey and it's quite uh, confronting sometimes. You think, whoa, but it's an honest story. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Didn't you have the feeling people were staring at you and, and thinking something or? Um, yes, but uh, yeah, I did. Because I thought, well, what do a lot of people think of me now? Yeah. Um, but everybody in my uh, surrounding knows about my story. Because you're very open about it. Because I'm very yeah. open about it. Uh, but there are some people at school um, and they don't follow my blog. Uh, and they were like, 
looking at me like damage. for damage yeah the long hair one day and yeah. being bald the other day yeah I saw the, the looks in their eyes but ah well <laughs> I don't care <laughs> no, you don't care but I think it would be so much fun to just say, what are you looking at? Or what's the problem? Or just yeah. confronting people. But... Well, I did that once. <laughs> uh, because I had to uh, get a new uh, passport. Yeah. Uh, and then you have to have a, a photo. Uh, oh, that's bad timing. Yeah. Whoa. So I was like bald. And, um, but I did have my old uh, photo. Oh. So I just gave it to the... Uh, the worker at the yeah at, at City Hall. City Hall, thanks. And, and she was like, "Can you take your cap off?" I'm like, "No, I have cancer." <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's confronting. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only time I really did that because I was like, yeah, "Fuck it, I don't want this uh, this bald hair on my yeah for the next exactly something years. I don't know." How often do you get trims? Well, I know this answer. You're here every four weeks. Because just to tame the curls, your mullet gets out of hand. Yeah, and yeah exactly. We're not touching the top. Just let that grow in a little, and then yeah. we'll meet the sides. And well, yeah. we have a whole plan on growing your hair back. Yeah, come on, you're. <laughs> so in a year, you will wear a bob, actually down to your chin almost, and then you can just grow it out from there. Yeah. How cool! Yeah. It's so cool to follow that process. Yeah. Let's round it up. Thanks for this talk. I think people really like it. You being so open, it's super cool. Yeah. We actually said there's a lot of people that don't talk about this and don't share their stories. So it's it's brave, nice. It helps other people. And uh, I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think of it down here in the comments. And see you in the next show. Oh, I throw my cards away always, but I forgot today because I didn't use the questions. <laughs>